While explaining the matrix game, we have actually given two examples and in one, one of those cases uh, the PSNE uh, did exist and the other case PSNE did not exist. Now have you noticed something interesting uh, uh, between these two games uh, where PSNE exists and does not exist and the fact that max mean and min max were equal or unequal. Let me give you the hint. So in the first case, uh, the, uh, the penalty shootout game. We had uh, this uh, situation where the uh, the min max value was equal to one, which was of course greater than or equal to, and in this case it was strictly greater than the min max uh, the max min value, uh, which was minus one. Now these are not equal, but in the other case the max min value uh, and min max value both were equal to one, and in that case PSNE existed. Is this just a coincidence? Uh, we'll show in this module that it, that is not a coincidence and uh, indeed if you have to have a PSNE, if the PSNE has to exist, then it better be the case that this uh, min max and the max min value uh, be the same. Now uh, to prove that let us uh, also uh, develop a little bit of notation. So first uh, thing is that we are defining the max min strategy of player 1. Uh, and this is just the strategy for player one, uh, which uh, which is arg max uh, over this minima. So this is the the formal definition, uh, looking at the the minimizing uh, uh, strategy. So for for a specific strategy S one, uh, what is the the minimum value, and then which strategy maximizes that? That strategy we are going to call the max min strategy for player one. It's uh, in some sense is the safest strategy or the worst case optimal strategy for player one. And similarly, because the uh, we are using the same utility uh, uh, function, which is negative, uh, uh, the utility for player two is going to be the negative of that. Then the um, uh, the similar notion of max min for player two will be min max in this context uh, for player two. So the min max strategy of player 2 uh, is something that we are going to uh, denote with s2 star. So this is the min max strategy for player 2. So here is the uh, theorem which uh, formally states which we have just said uh, earlier. So a matrix game U has a PSNE or a saddle point if and only if this min max and the max min value are equal and uh, this s1 star and that equals the the value of this matrix at s1 star and s2 star where s1 star and s2 star are the max min and the min max strategies for players 1 and 2 respectively and not only that in particular this particular strategy profile is going to be the psne uh, a psne of this game so in order to prove this will uh, because this is a, a necessary and sufficient condition so we will uh, do both directions one by one so first look at the uh, the only if direction so this is the only if that is we start with a, a psne uh, and we show that this condition holds right so we will start that uh, this game has a psne and we will show that this uh, this in, uh, this equality uh, is true so suppose this PSNE is S1 star, S2 star. I mean, don't really need to be the same S1 star, S2 star. It will happen to be the same, but, but for uh, simplicity, we are using the same notation that we have used in the previous uh, uh, modules. So by the definition of PSNE, what we know, we know that this inequality holds for player one. And we also know that the other inequality holds for player two. Uh, of course, because this is uh, looking at U, then in that case, the inequality will get flipped. Uh, but that will also hold uh, for all S2. So a similar inequality you can write even for player 2. So let us start with this one. So because this is the uh, this is greater than that, uh, we can actually so this is uh, this inequality is true for all S1 in capital S1. So we can actually write this even for the maxima uh, maximum value of this this inequality is going to hold. In fact, in that case, it is going to be equal, but let us uh, use the same uh, argument and we are using just uh, this inequality and we are taking the maxima. All right, because this is a, this is maxima and uh, because S2 star, 
uh, is a specific strategy. Uh, therefore, we can clearly write using the definition of minima uh, that we can uh, say that this uh, quantity, which is uh, which is a fixed quantity only dependent on S2 star because it is no longer dependent on uh, T1. We have already taken the max. So this is going to be at least as much as the minimum. So minimum will always be uh, less than or equal to that number. So we can write this min max value here. So uh, and if you write it in this way, we know that this is the min max value of this uh, matrix scheme. Okay, so you, now we are using the same argument for player 2. So you can write uh, uh, an equivalent uh, uh, expression. So what will that be? Uh, it will be S1 star, S2 star. That is going to be less than or equal to U of S1 star, comma S2. And that will hold for all S2 in capital S2. And then you can use the same thing, but uh, now uh, the inequalities are flipped and you are going to use first the minimum value and then the max and therefore you will have the max mean which is going to be larger than that so this is the max mean you can just redo the steps uh, the, the max mean value will be at least uh, at least as much as the utility of s1 u of s1 star s2 star which is the same value here now uh, what do we see so we know that uh, v, v uh, upper bar is actually as at least as much as v lower bar but here we have already shown that this is greater than or equal to the number s1 star u of s1 star s2 star and it is also upper bounded by the same number u of s1 uh, s1 star comma s2 star so this is uh, these two numbers are actually sandwiched uh, between between those two things so this is by the previous lemma and this is what we have just shown Therefore, uh, these two numbers must be equal to, uh, must be the same and they must be equal to uh, this u of s1 star comma s2 star. And that is exactly what we wanted to show. This s1 star and s2 star uh, are uh, going to be this, uh, yeah, so this is, uh, if it is a saddle point, then uh, uh, these two things are actually going to be the, uh, going to be the same. And uh, uh, because uh, this min max values and uh, so the uh, this S1 stars and S2 stars are nothing but the saddle points, uh, they are also going to be the, uh, the min max and the max min values. Uh, okay. So yeah, so the that implication of max min value is just coming because of this inequality. Because if you are, uh, uh, if you have a utility uh, at a specific S1 star and S2 star, which is equal to the value, the max min and the min max value, then S1 star S2 star is both the min max and the max min value, um, max min strategy. So the, um, uh, we have shown the uh, necessary condition, that is the only if direction, that if you have a PSNE, which is S1 star S2 star, then uh, this inequality should hold and uh, your S1 star S2 star which is was, which was a PSNE must also be the min max strategy and the max min strategy respectively. Now we will have to show the other way around. Now we are given that uh, this uh, quality holds where S1 star and S2 star are the max min and the min max strategies for players 1 and 2 and let us uh, for uh, uh, for our simplicity of notation, let us uh, denote uh, both these equal values with uh, V, let's say. Now what we have, now we know by definition of, uh, of minima, uh, again the same trick that we are going to use. So if you uh, fix a specific S2 uh, and S1 star is the same, uh, then this uh, by the definition of minima, you can always write this. And because this S1 star is a very specific, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a max min uh, strategy for player one, then you can actually write it uh, to be equal to the max of, over this uh, the strategy of player one and mean over the strategy of player two. So S1 star is by definition the, the max min strategy. So the equality should hold. Uh, and uh, because this is the max min value and we, we know uh, by by the uh, uh, what is given in this uh, condition that is equal uh, to the value v. Now similarly we can use the same thing so we uh, we can use the same 
argument of u of s1 comma s2 star and we can uh, use the uh, the argument of uh, max so because now we are going to uh, use the other way other direction so we are going to show that this is max um, so if it, it is less than or equal to the max with respect to the first uh, quantity here and you use the same uh, fact that uh, because s2 star is the min max strategy then you can uh, use the same argument to show that this is min max and because that min max is also equal to v so the right hand side becomes v so you can show that this is also less than or equal to v but now uh, we also know that uh, this uh, v is equal to u of s1 star comma s2 star that is given uh, in the very beginning now if you just write that down so what what uh, did you get here s1 star comma s2 and notice that this is uh, for any arbitrary s2 this is going to be uh, this uh, whole uh, uh, implication that we have shown uh, holds for any arbitrary s2 that you pick so that is going to be uh, greater than or equal to u of s1 uh, s1 star comma s2 star right so therefore the, the the definition of psne is essentially this and from the second uh, implication you can show that uh, this is s2 star and if the other player is uh, is uh, holding on to that strategy then this is going to be less than or equal to u of s1 star comma s2 star and this holds for all s2 and this holds for all s1 so if player one is deviating from this strategy to uh, any arbitrary s1 it is going to lose out and if uh, this player player two is deviating from s2 to s2 uh, it is also going to lose out because its utility is just the negative of it so that essentially proves uh, the theorem that we uh, started with that if you have a PSNE which is a saddle point it is going to be a saddle point if and only if uh, this uh, both this min max and the max min value uh, become equal.